Hi, it's Alan here from Cosmic Sound's Contemporary Keyboard Department and I'm here to tell you about the wonderful new range of Casio hybrid pianos. I'm here with Jared from Casio Australia and he's going to tell us more about them. Yeah, thanks Al. So there's two models in the Silviano Grand Hybrid range. There's the GP300, which is available in a satin black finish, and then there's the GP500 model, which is available in a gloss black finish. Now, the very special thing about these two pianos is that they've been developed with Casio in collaboration with leading European piano manufacturer, C. Beckstein. Okay. Now, C. Beckstein have uh, gone a long way to help us develop the sound in the piano and also the key action that, that is featured in both these Silviano Grand Hybrid models. A lot of acoustic uh, players would be very familiar with uh, Beckstein's amazing history and the quality pianos that they produce. Tell us specifically about the key action, uh, Jared. Yeah, absolutely. So the key action has been, again, developed with C. Beckstein, and it's actually using the same timbers, the same materials, the same drying processes, everything that goes into manufacturing their uh, range of grand pianos has been incorporated here into the Silviano Grand Hybrid. So they actually feature a full-length wooden key and then a proper grand piano hammer mechanism which follows all the same path, the same movement, everything of what you would find in an acoustic grand piano. So in actual fact, you're getting a real piano experience with Absolutely. a digital outcome. Absolutely. So, so all those things like tuning uh, and all those things that we associate with acoustic pianos, you don't have to worry about. Absolutely. So being digital, it's completely maintenance free. However, you're still getting the benefits of an acoustic piano feel. It is, it's not a digital piano trying to replicate what a grand piano feels like. It is actually a grand piano key bed inside. And tell us about the sound that these wonderful pianos create. Yeah, so we feature three legendary pianos on board in the sound source and that's the first time this has ever appeared on a digital piano. So the three main piano tones are the Berlin Grand, the Hamburg Grand and the Vienna Grand. Now the Berlin Grand is where C. Beckstein have done a lot of work in collaborating with us um, to develop that sound. So that is a C. Beckstein model grand piano on the Berlin Grand sound. And um, I'll just give you a bit of a demo of how they all sound. Wonderful. So let's have a listen at the three legendary piano sounds. Now don't forget we've got the Berlin Grand sound, which is the one developed in collaboration with C. Beckstein. We've also got the Hamburg Grand and the Vienna Grand. So I'll just give you a demo of how all three different pianos sound. A lot of effort has gone into the development of the sound here on the Selviano Grand Hybrids. Um, if we dive into the, the menu here, there's the acoustic simulator, uh, where within there we get a lot of different settings that we can manipulate and really design and create the piano to, to respond exactly how you like it to be, uh, much like uh, regulating and, and tuning and de designing your acoustic piano to respond exactly how you would like it to be. Uh, so there's a number of different options in there. Um, we've got the hammer response, which is of course the timing between striking the note and the hammer reaching the string. Uh, it's by default set to what is a, a more natural setting, but we can adjust that for a slightly faster response or a little bit slower, exactly how you like it to be. We've also got a lid simulator function, which is digitally opening and closing the lid of a grand piano. In addition to the physical lid, which we can lift up and down, which of course, just the same as opening and closing the lid on, a, on an acoustic piano, affects what sort of sound you hear and come out. You can also adjust the amount of damper resonance, which is the, the sound of all the strings resonating off each other when you have your foot down on the damper pedal, which if I strike the notes up the top, you can hear the resonance of the grand piano cabinet, so we can adjust how much of that we've got there. As well as the damper resonance, we can adjust the amount of sympathetic resonance, which is each individual string creating all the different harmonic overtones that you hear as you have some strings open, other strings closed. Now the GP500 has a few extra settings in the acoustic simulator that we don't get on the GP300, and that includes the open string resonance, which is the resonance settings of just the strings up the top, sort of octave and a half, where there's no damper felt up there at all, so we can adjust that amount. There's an the aliquot string resonance. You can also adjust the amount of the pedal action noise you hear, so the physical damper is actually releasing from the strings as you press the damper pedal down. And we can also adjust the amount of key noise, so of the actual mechanical noises of the keys going on and off. 
Now that's unique to the GP500. The GP300 still has a lot of the resonance settings, just not as much as what we've got here in the flagship model, the GP500. Can you tell us about the extra features that the, both pianos offer? Yeah, absolutely, Al. Well, one feature that is completely unique to Casio is the concert play function. Now, what this does is it uh, provides a full orchestral audio backing for you to be able to play along to. Now, there's a number of different tunes in there. You actually get the sheet music uh, to play along to it. And as you play the piano part, you have a full symphony orchestra behind you. Uh, gives you the ability to slow it down to about 80% speed, uh, so that's really handy for being able to practice. And you can even loop uh, a particular section over and over, uh, giving, again, the ability to practice any, any particular trouble spots that you may come across. Yeah. Uh, once you're fin finished with all that, then of course you've got a nice big uh, performance. It's really, really unique, really uh, fun way to, of course, you know, bring your music alive. Yeah. We've also got built on board a USB WAV file recording, so direct to a thumb drive. You can just plug that straight into the panel of the piano, yeah. uh, hit record, just one touch of the button, and away you go recording in WAV file quality. So yeah. a real, real handy feature to be able to you know, capture any moments of, of creativity or um, even teacher-student scenarios can become quite handy for a teacher to be able to record down uh, any sort of phrases or anything that the student may need to go away and practice during the week. And being a WAV file, uh, they don't need a particular software or piano or anything to play it. They can just play that WAV file on in or on, on anything. Tell us about the speaker system, Jerry. Yeah, absolutely. The uh, speaker system has been completely redeveloped from what you find on our previous range of, of digital pianos. Yeah. This is what we call the Grand Acoustic System. Uh, it actually features a six speaker system, which is designed to create a sound field uh, enveloping you in the sound as you would find it if you were playing an acoustic grand piano. So what we've got is actually two speakers underneath and the sound that's throwing down from those speakers has been uh, designed to only sh throw down the sound and the frequencies that you would find from below the soundboard on a grand piano. Um, there's two little speakers in the little panel here and then two more up the top which they're designed to give you a lot of all that resonant um, sound that you hear from, of course, on top of the soundboard. And we've also got the scene functions, which is a real, uh, again, unique feature to Casio. This is uh, not just saving all the settings on the piano, a lot of those resonant functions and things that we talked about earlier, but what it does in the presets is it gives you the ability to choose either, say, Beethoven or Chopin, a lot of different composers in there, and it actually sets all the settings of the piano, chooses the right concert hall, gives you the right settings, everything to suit that composer of music so it's um, really giving you a unique feel for what they may have experienced in the day while they were composing their particular pieces. Beautiful. So another great feature is the hall simulator. Now built into the piano are a number of different uh, halls, different venues, different concert halls, uh, cathedrals from around the world and what it does is recreates the tonal characteristics of those venues giving you the different sounds uh, as you play. And you can also adjust uh, the listening position. So you can have it set to player as if you were performing on the piano on stage, or you can also set it to a few different settings uh, of the audience. And so you can hear how the performance would sound if you were sitting back in the audience hearing someone perform from the stage. So the scene function, I'll demonstrate that now. I've got this set to the Debussy scene. Um, so it's set up the hall simulator, all the different resonance settings, chosen the Berlin Grand to give you a bit of a feel of how a piano may have sounded uh, to suit Debussy's style of music.
Thanks very much, Jerry, for coming down today and telling us about the wonderful Casio hybrid piano range. Yeah, sure thing. And make sure you come down to our store at 94 Hector Street West in Osborne Park and just experience how natural these pianos feel. Also, you can check us out on Facebook or go to our website page, cosmic.com.au. Thanks very much for your time. Whether you love playing live, DJing in your bedroom, or hearing your songs recorded for the first time, Australia's leading musical instrument retailer, Cosmic Sound, would love to help. Because that's what we love too. Check us out online at cosmic.com.au.